last time on Ace Attorney. Man, we, we, we need to get Emma or Maya back. Like, okay, I get it. You gotta put some thought into the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right-hand man back. September 8th, 11.43 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Ooh, you know what it is. Yes. All right. Ah, I am so excited to continue this game. All right, so in the last episode, we... Got amnesia after some idiot attacked us. Uh, and now we're defending this woman, even though we have no idea what the fuck happened. Uh, let's see. There's a mysterious phone. And, um, yeah, it seems like she's being framed for the murder of her boyfriend, which is, uh, kind of twisted. I like it. All right. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, uh... Let's get this going. Uh, amnesia? I can't believe my lawyer's trying to defend me in such a state. I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I tried. I'm sorry, I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think I'll pass on that one. Come on. I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem that won't, that you won't be tackling today. But well, we're here to solve your problem first. I'll make a deal with mine later. For now, do you think you could fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Oh, well, I, I guess I'll start with my name, and then I can, you can tell, I can tell you, and I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I, I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix, right? What a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I love it when um games or like books or shows like take shots at their own ridiculousness. Uh, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. Y you can have this back. Maybe it'll help. Huh? This is a business card. Wait, we have those? I I I didn't know that um Phoenix and Co. Law offices legitimately made enough money to, like, afford business cards, cause, like... Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> business card. I got this from you! It's my most prized possession! <laughs> you can borrow it for now, but, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some numbers right on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. Okay. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna turn out that that phone I had ain't my cell phone? I guess for now we should stop talking about me. Then start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, um, uh, I can't think of any other incident than- I can't think of anything other than the incident with a cell phone, but- Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Hurry up, Emily, now! This might be very important. Okay, Roger! Okay, let's see. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on walk with Dustin. Oh my god. There is so much in this shot! Oh, you are fucking with me. Did I hear that properly? Oh god, my headphones are in the process of dying. I need to fix this. Give me a second. Shit. Alright, well... I can't hear the game audio now. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> uh, it's fine. Uh, I'll just... I'll 
I'll just uh, play in silence for the time being. Y'all should still y'all should still be able to hear it just fine. It's just on my end. But nah, it should be fine. Uh, uh, like, I'll probably just leave it charging for, like, half an hour, maybe 15 minutes, ish, and then I'll put it back on, so, that, you know, by then it should have been charged enough, so, uh, yeah, okay, uh, if there's, like, some really important audio cue that I hear, or, uh, that, that, that I'm supposed to hear, but I don't, I, I'm very sorry, but at least you'll pick it up, but yes, now, back to this scene, okay, so, obviously these two, um, the phone, right? So it seems like they picked up a lost cell phone somewhere? That's, I mean, certainly interesting. Let's see, lost phone, and... Huh. Interestingly enough, Dustin is in uniform, which I guess, if I remember correctly, that was like that in the crime scene photo. Uh, I guess what's interesting to me is that Dustin is in uniform, meanwhile she is not? So, I mean... I mean, maybe he just, like, maybe she just hasn't, like, maybe she, like, ended her duty, like, earlier than he did, changed out of her clothes, and then his duty ended, so, now, so, and then he didn't have time to change before they went on, a, on their date? I don't know. Uh, probably not an important detail, but I'll keep it in mind, no... Probably not important detail, but I'll keep it in mind nonetheless. And then, um, probably the uh, most important thing here is the fact that, uh, God damn it, Maggie had a uh, she had a blue badger on her hoodie. This is a terrifying concept to me. You know why? Because. It implies that either the blue badger mascot was so popular that there is now official, that, that, that now the police department is selling merch with it on, or the police chief himself is personally spending his money to make Blue Badger merchandise. But above all else, the most egregious thing is the fact that she's wearing it. Why? But I guess we should probably uh, focus on the fact that the phone is the ringtone we heard. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Um, hello? Hmm, okay, I'm guessing that's... Okay, there's only one other person we've met, so I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that that's the guy? Oh, thank you, I've been searching for my phone. Is, is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. And that's where it happened. Yeah, that's the killer. I fucking knew it. I told you. I fucking called it. It wasn't exactly how I called it, but yeah. I called it that, um, Maggie. That the killer heard Maggie's name somewhere. Now, I, in the moment, I postulated that he may have overheard it, like, in conversation. But I suppose it makes more sense that, um... You know, she fucking told him. But he doesn't know how it's spelled, so he spelled it wrong. Ah, uh, you fool! You poor fool! That's like, that's why you don't like try to frame someone else using uh, their name unless you fucking know it. Because, I mean, names nowadays are like spelled really weird. Like, nowadays you're like trying to mur- you're like trying to frame someone for murder and it's like, um, here it says that the victim left a dying message in which his, according to this dying message, the, vic the killer's name is Matthew. Actually, Your Honor, my client's name is spelled with a B. I I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it's got a B between the uh, T and the H. 
a fucking killer who's uh, like just like you know in the crowd he just like stands up like really what the fuck you know what you know what i give up i give up fucking handcuff me already you know i, I, I went through all that trouble all that trouble i bribed the witnesses i planned my escape bro i incinerated the murder weapon so that not a trace would be left i left no clues there was nothing it was the perfect murder plot but some mother an idiot named their child Matthew with a baby because they want to be special and fucked it all up. <laughs> uh, all right, let's keep going. Ah, the blue badger. Look at it. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Justin and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Huh. So where is phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is that the phone in my pocket? You mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I... don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Ah! <laughs> oh, you were here all along! Yeah! Um... Wow! Wow! You could hear, in the span of those, like, one or two seconds, you could hear my voice go from extreme excitement to extreme disappointment. Oh my god, that was amazing! That was hilarious! Look, okay, because, like, at first I was like, <gasps> Maya, yes, she's back! And then I was like, oh no, it's not Emma! Let's be honest here. Emma is just superior in every way, but all right, let's continue. I, I, okay, look, I'm not disappointed that Maya's here. I like Maya. I'm just disappointed it's not Emma. If you get that, like, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, anyone who's a, like a fan of Maya just like instantly disliked the video and left. Oh, fuck. You're so mean. You called me, I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up. And when I thought to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left. Ah, who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too? Hey, good morning, Maggie. Morning to you too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? It, is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh. And what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right. It's Maya to the rescue with the ultra decisive, super important evidence. Oh fuck. Okay, I I don't remember how my voice for Maya went. So, I, I need a quick reminder because that was a fucking while ago. I mean, hell. Yeah. Holy shit. The first Ace Attorney game was 30 episodes, right? The, 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 the last trial not only had the longest episodes, but it had epi but it had 13. Almost half of my entire Ace Attorney series. Actually, I would wager probably half. Like, by video count, not really, but like, probably going by like, minute length. I would say half of my Ace Attorney series is Rise from the Ashes. Holy fuck. So yeah, it's been a fucking while since I've heard Maya's voice, but uh, let me get a quick refresher. Okay, okay, I think I might have the voice then. That's right, it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra decisive, super important evidence. Here you are, Nick. The things you wanted me to bring. Yeah, that sounds right. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks? What the fuck is this, a list? It's about 20 people's names and phone numbers. Ah, right. Phoenix got smart, shit. The Phoenix I knew would have never done something like that. Evidence? Who needs evidence? Just walk around the crime scene, steal anything shiny you find, and then throw it at Edgeworth across the aisle and it'll probably hit him, knock him out, and then you win by default? I mean, at least I think that's his strategy. <laughs> but, oh, I, oh actual, investiga uh, actual investigation? In my Phoenix Wright game? Nah. 
Also, I would not trust Maya with something like as important as this. It's kind of tough, but I did, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good, as in. There's a group of con artists that the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are mer members of that group. Okay. Con artists. What, the fucking con artists union? We want better wages! <laughs> you get paid by commission! Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Now don't look at me. Hmm. Where do you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the only one who asked me to look- You're the one who asked me to look it up yesterday. Oh. Is that right? These numbers were in the memory of the phone Maggie found. Ah, huh, so that's where they were from. Okay. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be as forgetful as an old prune like you. Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm starting to piece this together. So, con artist, right? Probably, they were likely running some kind of scam, right? In which they, um, you know, they drop a phone by at the park and then they, you know, wait for some good Samaritan to pick it up and try to return it to someone. Um, you know, then after the phone is called, obviously they're, you know, m monitoring, right? Like they're actually, you know, like spying on the phone, waiting to see when someone looks it up. And then obviously after someone does pick it up, they call the phone and it's like, oh, that's my phone. Ah, uh, can we meet up so you can give it back to me? And then, I mean, I don't know exactly how the, um, actual scam would go down after that. But, yeah, I imagine that then the, the con artist would scam them in some manner by getting them to, you know, you know, in the process. But, you know, essentially the scam begins with them luring an unsuspecting person by getting them to try to return a phone. However, I'm guessing that when the guy did this, he wasn't expecting to find a police officer. So he probably ended up, um, you know, that's, that would explain why he never showed up. He probably didn't want to, you know, he wasn't gonna about, he wasn't about to try to scam a police officer because he knew that was, you know, a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> so, uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that might lead us to the truth, but, uh, we'll, we'll have to see how we get there. No, oh, fuck, we're like almost half an hour in and it's just been me fucking around. God damn it, we, we need to get, we need to get this moving. I'm um, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, the race is over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops. Guess you gotta get going. We can talk about being old later. Nick? Oh, wish me luck. I guess I have all the pieces now. Eh, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. And I'm not gonna lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yep. All right, looks like they're gonna be bringing out the dude as a witness, I believe. It's number eighth, 11.54 a.m., district court, courtroom number two. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? Oh fuck, my voice kind of like went somewhere else there. It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see? So I asked the court might be a little lenient on. There is no need to give a briefness. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, your honor. Uh, prosecution calls the text witness. A drifter who was uh, taking a walk in the park on, on the day of the murder. There he is. Please state your name and for, for, for the court witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Uh, all right. Uh, go ahead. Just now you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who has taken a walk? Uh, did I? But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, as opposed to calling me, but I'm to give it to just a celebrity to you, but even in my life is to be the utmost highest top. I'm merely looking for the perfect top notch, unbeatable university. Don't you have a rigorous selection process that I'm. Yes, 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 I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more cautious from now on. 
<laughs> what is he, a human chatterbox? <laughs> oh boy, we've got an old bag in the house, apparently. And, uh, ah, how I miss that Maya sprite. <laughs> I will title it, Maya is done with the prosecution's bullshit. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have to question him. Ah, uh, you got old bag just fine. Fashion cars, women glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need apply. Glasses, but you aren't wearing glasses. Oh my fucking god. Did he just... He just admitted to the murder! This man just inadvertently admitted to being a murderer. Holy fuck. You know how, uh, there was a pair of broken glasses at the scene of the crime that, uh, were speculated to belong to the murderer and people thought it was Maggie? W why do I have a feeling that this guy might not have the greatest eyesight in the world if ya catch my Tokyo Drift. That's enough. Your name, witness. Oh, hi. Is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. Your old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. I'm sorry, it won't happen again! Oh man. I forgive you. Alright, I suppose I can tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso, with a PhD in drifting, as it were. If you were wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Um, Mr. Wellington, on the day of the murder, you were talking, uh, sh strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to the word, if you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I'm in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mummy. If you must know, I am- Anyways, the police testified to the court about what you saw during your walk through the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. You know, you- What you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington! Yeah, put him in his place, Judge. What I saw that day. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above. Mm-hmm. Right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant over there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell. With the police officer. Banana. Oh! Hmm! That was certainly a decisive testimony! He thought the baseball glove was a banana. <laughs> I mean... Can you fault him? It looks like six! Or... I'm retarded. What baseball glove has six fingers? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, I don't know which crack I did today, but it was the good stuff. <laughs> I need to get that dealer more- I need to hit that dealer up more often, <laughs> shit. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? Yep. That's all you have to say? How can he be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client? You mean Maggie? Yeah, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. Yeah. You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. Ooh, such a good line. All right, I missed this. All right, I was out at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. Okay. I don't remember the, okay, okay. I think we might need to contradict the banana thing. Right? I mean, it's just way too easy. Objection! Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? I, lo I love the way his hair flaps around whenever he like shakes his head. It's so fuck. 
It's so stylish. I really like the design on this guy. But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. Uh, Mr. Wright! What is the meaning of this? Is that the baseball glove? Huh? What? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? Might be a bit chewy. Th that's... That's not... It's a no! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness... Oh my god. You really went there. That <laughs> loves bananas. Phoenix Wright! You mad lad! Hell yeah! By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? Whoa, uh, why are you asking me this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it's a very simple mistake to, to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. You, 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 you know, one of those people? Yes, you know what I mean. You know, like the people who refuse to accept your two use to your word to realize that our possibility. Sure, in the end, we find out that in fact the glove not but as would be from afar. I do think that from a doubt, don't you? And that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. They're both 20 out of 200. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why, you're not wearing your glasses today, then? Oh, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But, you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? <laughs> oh my god, he just fucking choked himself. Carter, daddy. How about it, witness? You're an unrelenting evil man. Or like those people who related she was brave and courageous only to be cut by horrible orange just people and you didn't do anything so wrong but did Which boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at the time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. <laughs> About the height difference was only nine feet. It was very possible for me to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. Hmm, witness! Please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake! Yeah, yes, your honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. What happened next? The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately reported the, pol the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. They must have been a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Ah, yes, the famous policy. Hmm, so the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away? Yes, that's correct. Which is why even someone with an inferior brain like mine can- a uh, superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is a murderer. In that shot there, he kind of looks like the fucking, uh, murder manor hotel, and, uh, no. No, 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 no. That man terrifies me. All right, let's see. Girl in the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. Okay. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. Cool. Must have been 6.45 when I made the call. Autopsy report. I'm sorry, what? So, you, you, you witnessed the crime, and called the police station, now uh, what is it, a good 20 minutes later? Uh, what? Are you retarded? Objection. Mr. Wellington, would you take a look at this? Man, this guy's just fucking terrible, holy fuck. He really isn't, doesn't know what he's doing, like... I mean, from how he looks, I'd assume he has a pretty good charisma stat, but 
I guess he just never took a proficiency in deception. Beautiful. We have audio again, boys. <laughs> so fucking ghetto. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? Hey, you mean the witness, the, the victim's autopsy report? Oh, the, the fuck me, fucking hell. I just like smited my pop filter with Thor's might. And it, um, well, first it hit my mic and pro you'll probably heard that. And then it hit the mute button. Oh my God. Thank fuck. I was looking at audacity instead of just like in the game because I may not have realized that that happened. According to this, the murder occurred at 6.24 p.m. 28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place? However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15 minute gap here. Do you deny it? I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15 minute gap. Grr. The witness was in shock at the time after witnessing the terrible murder. It's only to be expected he would be a little dazed. 15 minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Ah! Mr. Wellington! Yes? Explain yourself! What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Uh. Answer the question. Phoenix, fucking cold-blooded killer here. I, uh, the telephone, I, I, I mean. Spit it out. I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth. You mean, you don't have a cell phone? You and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers at a matryoshka doll. You think you're really something special. Witness. I lost my cell phone. You lost it. No glasses, bad eyesight, lost cell phone. Man, this man. Oh, I feel so sorry for this man. We're just tearing him apart. Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? What are you trying? What are you saying? That first-rate people are never allowed to lose things. Haven't you ever heard that a genius of my rationality in my own court? Don't you think it's simple? Plain people can never understand. Enough! Oh man! Oh man! Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone. Okay, Phoenix is catching up here. Nick, that cell phone. Could it be? You mean the phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? What's your phone number? Mr. Wellington, where is your cell phone right now? Huh. What are you getting excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll have it you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. The list of phones, right? Huh, it looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that's just maybe this was his. Huh. Yeah. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by a search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I, I guess you could put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Uh... Yeah, I wanna compare with this fucking list. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe there ever- there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that. Then you have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, y yeah, of course. This evidence should be good enough, I think. All right, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Uh...
I guess the name's like It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. And yet again, you have presented this court with an obtuse, meaningless item. Huh? It's obtuse? And meaningless? I don't get you at all, Nick. Why do you think you wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because... I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, hey, he really didn't need to look for a phone. Then why don't you hurry up and present the piece of evidence? Huh. Now what was that piece of evidence again? Alright, let's have this proof then. Please present the proof. Okay. Ah, uh, the cell phone, I guess. It's very simple. For a phone. Interesting. Oh, 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 fuck. Right, okay. I get it now. I thought it was gonna be something like, Oh, lawyer, you see on this list of names. Okay, thank god I wasn't as retarded as that. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. Of the crime scene photo? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, there's something wrong with you. No! It's a phone booth! That is correct. All that a defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Yeah! Order, order! Oh, I was reporting the crime a, a, a little late for the defense. The witness can't explain what he did, what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What you... What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Then, I bet his phone really is- This is- This phone really is his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin in, to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there's no reason for him to kill for it, because he was a cop. On top of that, we still have the phone she found anyways. Huh, but if he wasn't looking for a cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else. Was he? Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor? Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Uh... Yeah, I have an idea. There is only one possible explanation. Alright, let's hear your explanation! However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Ah, uh, I probably should have said there was only one possibility. Please present the court with the only piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Because he didn't have his phone. That's a different phone. Perhaps this is the evidence you need to be convinced. Perhaps! <laughs> That's just an idea I thought I'd throw out. I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. Yes, of course, Your Honor. Well then. But before you do, you will be penalized! Ouch. Shit. Uh, ooh, actually, what about, um... Fuck! Fuck! This is bad. No? What the fuck am I supposed to present here? I'm utterly stumped here. The glasses? Mr. Wellington. Oh, don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah! Oh, where? Where did you find? I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. These glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Under the victim's body? 
Order, order! Now, now, wait a second, hold on! I didn't confess or confirm anything! Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that's why it took him 15 minutes to make the call. Mmm, okay, interesting. Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Of course, that is precisely what I'm doing. Oh, this music! Oh! He's just gonna fucking kill himself. I know I'm right. He's the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? Eh, more or less. Turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now's our chance to deep six this guy. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah! No, oh, I guess he picked up some mannerisms from Officer Marshall. This is so exciting, watching you work again. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this! Order, order! Your Honor, uh, the defense. The defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being a murderer. Yeah, that's right. I'm no criminal. This is the third rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. Why, that's that's easy, um, um an example, there's um the name of the victim wrote about that uh Oh, you mean the name? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yes, even an idiot like you can read that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, the order in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, but, but. Oh, wouldn't that also mean the real criminal is someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would the person have known her name was Maggie or Maggie? Uh, that is a good point! The witness didn't even know Miss Bride before this- Ah, I forgot. Huh. Was there any way this creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Yup. It would be best if I could prove the witness had a chance to learn. That the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present this case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Take that! Mr. Wellington, you don't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realize you'd lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Who oh, are you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... Overruled! Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some relation between the witness cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up the lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can we can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Fucking cursed blue badger right there. That's when you learned her name was Maggie. Uh, uh, yeah. But you made one fatal mistake. A fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie, but the name is written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that could only occur if all you knew was how her name sounded. Yeah! Order, order! But, Your Honor, the witness had no motive. 
And your point is? It's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Wellington did no reason to kill anyone. Well, that is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Well, my wi what? Oh, come on! So he needs a motive to be considered for murder, but my client doesn't need one? My client has no motive. Can you explain what motives the witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer the explanation, then this trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Now then, please present the proof that the witness had a motive! It's the names list, right? It has to be. Take that! Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. Oh, what is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You... you looked up all those numbers? Of course! This list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to the people who are members of a certain con artist group. Wha 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 what Con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This is, is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. Looking up those phone numbers on a person's phone is worse than a crime of murder. You know, one of those people, you're just like this cops who one of these they do something the genius work of the dialogue of the goddess of... I don't care what you think, Mr. Wellington, as long as it's about me. All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. You think you, any of you know what it is, it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this is, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have a number of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't it obvious? The witness is... a member of that group. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. Never trust a character with- never trust a D&D character with high charisma. No! All of your friends' phones numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, they would all be over for you. That's why you had to kill. No! No! This is too much! Yeah, we're just taking this guy to fucking down! Holy fuck, Phoenix! Hmm, that does make quite a bit of sense! Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I... Um, um, I... I got you now. The fuck running out of space? Where? Oh, my disc is running out of space. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, fuck. We're running out of disc space and quick. Fuck. All right, we got to get this over quickly. Shit. I got you now. I, that I, I, police officer. Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Payne? Oh, actually, mm, all right, let's see. Uh, all right, we should have s space now. What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, I, this is unjustified bantering of the witness. You said the exact same thing a few seconds ago. <laughs> Please? Please let me think about the contents of that phone call. Beep. Um, um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird and get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm. That is a valid point! What does the defense think about this? Huh. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should think outside the box. Yeah, a thing like that. Let's see. Maybe the slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well, 
I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he ever be unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him once he got there. Well, Mr. Wright, what was that something he didn't agree with? Oh, Dustin Pritt, because he was in his uniform. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. A uh, victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone to his date right after his shift was over. Okay, so this is coming into play. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! Well, the girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. Fine, when he's suspicious, I might run a ch he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they'd already run a check on his phone. And he went into a panic, is what you're saying? Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I... I... I was thinking. Hmm, it seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> Impressive. Not bad for a person with third-rate education. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence... Evidence! Oh, uh, this guy's really creeping me out. Oh, you've been waving around really as that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone numbers this, this suspicious con group that, they're all on that phone. But who's to say that phone really is mine? Where's your proof, your evidence? You want proof that this phone is yours? Ha 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 I already told you earlier. The phone I lost, I've already found. You don't have even the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. If you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. Hmm. Um, we do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Your Honor. Oh, this is bad. Can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Ah, a cell phone. Okay, I, I gotta keep an eye out on my disk space, because if it runs out, we're fucked. Okay, still good. Hmm. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's got to be... Maybe. Fingerprints on the phone, the phone's stored numbers. Yeah. This phone has the names and numbers of those in the con, con group in its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh... What are you trying to determine is who the phone belongs to? Who cares what the phone numbers are stored on it? And besides, who knows? Maybe you went ahead and added in some numbers yourself. Oh, the witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defense's proposal. This jerk is back to his arrogant, annoying self again. Huh, this cell phone. It has to be something I overlooked. There's got to be. Maybe... I got it. We should check it for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on the phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off. I what? You said there was sand all over it, so... I wiped it. I wiped it. Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> it's oh so much fun watching third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ah, uh, this man a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. Ah, oh, you've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. 
Mr. Wellington? What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where do you finally found your cell phone? <laughs> oh, you're too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about! Huh? I... Oh my... G now I remember! Ah, oh, bruh. Did he switch out phones? Alright, I'm gonna end this voice recording here, and I'm gonna start a different one in my, um, hard drive. Cause this is, this is not good. Okay? I'll be right back. Alright, we're back! <laughs> I had to, um, change my Audacity directory to a different one. Cause fuck my life, right? So, here we are now! Okay, so let's continue. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Oh, good. I finally found it. Ah, so that's where he got it from. So that's when. What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick! We've worked so hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot-free. I know. I know this phone has to be his. How am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of the cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up with a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself, you're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? There's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at the ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Well, thank you for your assistance. We've had a stressful day, uh, so please, bon appetit! What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let him go after that? Hold it. No. Please wait, Your Honor. Alright, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Why? Ah, oh, you know, just a little something called... Everything? Hey, Your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended. Besides, the, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well, but this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. Huh? You may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this? If you cannot prove everything, it's over for your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh! Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance! It all comes down to this. It's go time! Please present the piece of evidence that will explain everything! Okay? Not gonna be the profiles. Name. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, so I'm already noticing that unlike the previous game, in this game, there's uh, d different parts will you'll lose different amounts of health. So, uh, yeah. Looks like we get two shots at this. 
He has my phone. When he smashed my head and tried to steal his phone from me, he stole the wrong phone. Take that. Why, thank you. How oh, nice. Here, please have one of mine. Judge's business card. It's written a fancy script. The ink is strong and clear. But I still can't read it. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, there's something very important about that card. And that is... The back of the card. This card is important because of what is on the back. Huh? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? But court is still in session. Oh, we're gonna hear the ringtone? That's okay. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We're gonna call my cell phone right now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic stupid things, too. The Steel Samurai theme is just way too fucking good. I, I think I might end up- I, I, I think I might need to make this my ringtone at some point. Holy shit. Ah! What? Why is my phone? And why is this stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington. Uh. Hmm. How strange. I can almost swear that- you're holding my phone! You... you ah! No, 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 it can't! By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. No! I don't think I need to explain any further except to say... When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. Oh, when the theme is kicking in. <laughs> oh my fucking god, he just committed suicide! Oh fuck! So, that is what happened! You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington? He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement in the con artist group, he had to become parent. He has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. And, and Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding. It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Ah, he was arrested and he's been taken away, Your Honor. Very well! Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Not guilty! Ah, I feel so good to finally say that after such a long time! That is all! The court is adjourned! Beautiful. You love to see it. Step 8, 2.16 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. <sighs> I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I am so moved by what you did for me, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? It can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, I fell from the ninth floor of my <laughs> apartment building. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, fell that almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I never won or even tied in a game of tic tac toe. Oh, fuck. Um. Well, if it's any consolation, I think you and Gumshoe might be perfect for each other. My life really has been nothing but a string of disasters. That is. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I, 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 I can't argue against that. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. And when at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Lady Luckless? 
Well, what's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. And that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady packing, pacing back and forth at the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand and... Before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. Oh. I'm sure that Dustin's gonna be gone because of me. That's not true. The glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It's just a present to say thanks for covering one of our night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything's all my fault. Dustin's death. Your head being all messed up. Uh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm gonna find a new life for myself starting now. Uh, the next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth. Good luck by then, sir. Yeah, and after that, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it! I promise! The next time we meet, I'll only use the... I'll, I'll be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh, that's right. My, uh, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you. Oh, thanks. You, you take care of yourselves, too. Oh, what a horrible day. I've got my memory back, but all things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You had me really worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Huh. I'm afraid to ask, but here goes... So, uh, okay, this might sound bad, but, uh... Who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. You're giving him way too much credit, pal! <laughs> He's more just like a free-floating agent of chaos. The Judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who is easily swayed by other people's opinions. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. This person... I haven't got a clue! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Poor Winston Bane! Such an up- <laughs> Such a poor guy! He seems to know me, but... Maybe he's mistaken me for someone else! <laughs> and this girl... Maya? You finally remembered! This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example... Earth to Nick? What's wrong? You keep staring at me! Don't tell me you missed me! Oh, uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. Feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Eh, it's only been a few months. Oh? Well, I'm back now. So it's time for us to create new memories together. Alright. Sounds good. All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick! Let's... Let's go to our usual burger joint! Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since you came back to my life. And that story? That story began on one rainy afternoon. Two months ago. Oh! The Lost Turn of- Okay, so- w Flashback sequence? Question mark? Oh, what the fuck? Episode 2? The re reunion and turnabout? What the fuck? Okay, hold on there. Reunion and turnabout. <gasps> okay, that's a lot to un unpack here. So, that episode- that- the, the next, uh, episode- Seems to have another spirit medium? I mean, she looked younger than Maya. But she was definitely wearing the spirit medium clothes, so I'm guessing it might be some a different acolyte at, you know, at wherever she trains, or maybe, like, it's her sister or something? I, I've never heard of Maya having another sister other than Mia, but sure. Oh, wow, okay, so... 
I guess that's going to be wow. But okay, so <laughs> we've got our memory back. That's that's fucking good. And yeah, okay, so, you know, that, you know, that wasn't much. It's basically an introductory right? right? And I think, like, the uh, whole amnesia thing was actually a pretty good uh, way to, like, you know, for new players to, like, get introduced to the character Phoenix Wright and, you know, just how the game works, I guess. The whole amnesia thing actually makes it pretty good for, like, you know, having to get tutorialed and everything. But now, now we're getting into the game proper, and... Well, I am very excited for the fact that the very first trial in the game had two parts. I mean, the, the first trial in Ace Attorney was very short, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, you know, the fact that this trial was almost, was probably like t over twice as long as that one, maybe even three times, that bodes well. I have a feeling the trials of this are going to be larger, grander, and more complex, and I am all here for it. Holy shit, I am so excited for this. Ace Attorney, the first game was amazing, and so far, this game has been amazing, and you are amazing for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you get notified when we post the next video. Uh, there's not been much activity on the channel lately because I've been very busy, but I should be fine to keep up. But uh, I've been getting better at managing my time now that I've spent a few weeks getting acclimated. And now uh, I think I might be able to push forward and get some more content out. But, I mean, even if the videos aren't coming out on schedule, uh, wh the one thing I will make sure to keep on schedule is the streams. We stream Persona 4 Golden every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Fantastic game. I love it, and it's a lot of fun. Also, every Friday at 5, we um, usually have, like, a, you know, like a fun game that we can hang out with, like, and play. Like, um, we played Fall Guys, we played Among Us last time, and now we are going to be playing um, Jackbox, I believe, this next time. But, yes, that's going to do it for this episode. So, uh, yeah, see you next time. I need to get a fucking Samurai... Steel Samurai ringtone, shit.